The advantages of and disadvantages of computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing, we're going to look at them together. And again, the study design says, can we look at the advantages through the prism of how do they make a business more efficient or productive? And how do they improve the quality of the product or the operation system, which is what we're calling effectiveness. So we'll group them together here. And we'll say, we get more efficient with CAD and CAM because we can design products much faster than can be done manually. We're saving on the input of time. What else? Well, we're also saving on time because not only do, once we design something, are we locked in, we can change it on a screen very easily, whereas that would be very difficult and time consuming to do by hand. What else? We're going to reduce waste. The amount of plastic with the Lego and so on, we can design the product because we can specify exact measurements that are going to eliminate the amount of plastic uh, for Lego, for example, or any other material that we use. We've also got increased speed. So now we get to the computer aided manufacturing part, a bit like automation. A lot of this involves automation. We can work at a faster pace than manual labor. And also we increase our length of production. Machines don't get sick. They don't take holidays. They're not tired. They don't have bad days. They don't have good days. They just work at a set pace and can work 24 hours a day. And lastly, probably the biggest one, uh, the biggest input or more uh, greatest efficiency we'll get is lowered labor costs. We'll get much fewer human workers involved, so that lowers our wages bill. What about effectiveness? Well, for, this is probably the biggest thing is we get an exact design, not, not a, a Nelly Wright design. We get an exact design with exact measurements using CAD. What else? We can then better meet customer needs. We can even design the product by asking the customer what they want, feeding that into the computer uh, program, the design program, and then actually producing a design that meets their needs. We also get greater accuracy and consistency of production. Like with automation, a computer-assisted manufacturing works more accurately than humans to an exact standard and does the exact same thing every time they perform a task to the exact same standard and therefore we get a final or better quality, more accurate final product. And lastly, we're going to get fewer defects and waste. If a machine's making everything, there's no human error, there's no fatigue, we're going to waste fewer resources and we're going to produce a better quality product. What about disadvantages? Uh, well, there's a, like with automation, very high time and cost of installation. If you watch the Tesla or the Lego documentaries, the machinery there is very complicated and very, very expensive. We also, with especially doing the coding part to turn these things into program instructions, we need really highly skilled staff with degrees and understanding of computer science and so on. And they're gonna be on really high salaries. What else? We're going to have redundancy of employees. So now every time we automate or use a aided manufacturing from a machine, we're going to replace a human or maybe not all of the humans, but we're going to have, uh, maybe instead of needing three people, we only need one who uses a machine. Uh, so now we've got an ethical or CSR issue to consider.